Day Astro Athens. Over this cup of coffee today, I am going to discuss the nearest black hole to Earth that was recently discovered 1,000 light years away. Cheers! Now in order to explain the concept of this black hole, I'm going to be referring to my dad's French press machine, which we are going to go make some French press coffee to explain what exactly this black hole's behavior is like, because it was, it's quite unique. It was found in a triple system. That is right. It is found while observing a binary star system. And now there's a black hole added to that system and it is a triple system. Let's go ahead and look at the French press. So my dad has this French press and I wanted to use it to explain the concept of a black hole because I think it's really relevant. We first actually added in the coffee grounds in there and that would act as the matter which exists just outside the black hole itself, so in the accretion disk. And I'm gonna be putting in this right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it down slowly. I love French presses. And as I'm pushing it down, what's happening is it's starting to separate the coffee grounds from the liquid. And this is a similar concept to how Hawking radiation works. So when you have matter that falls into a black hole, part of it is emitted back into space. So I like to think of this as this is the matter being condensed more and more in that gravitational singularity of the black hole. And all of this is like that Hawking radiation. Part of that coffee is emitting back, which we will pour into a nice, nice cup right here. Yum. Something interesting about this black hole known as HR6819, not only is it only a thousand light years away from Earth, but it was found in a binary star system, which we're gonna have these two cups of milk represent that binary star system. Now astronomers were actually just observing these two stars in the binary star system, meaning there's two of them binary, so they're orbiting each other. And they're like, oh great, cool. You know, those stars are cool, but there's some weird gravity happening over here with this star. Every time it's orbiting, it seems to be getting pulled back out by some gravity. That's when they found a black hole in the triple system. How cool is that, guys? grabbed my cup of black hole here, uh, black coffee, and I'm going to chat with you guys about this black hole and why it's so fascinating. Now, for one, like I said, is astronomers were just observing a binary star system and noticed a gravitational effect on one of the stars and said, hmm, it looks like as if there's something else that is causing a gravitational bounding in this one's orbit. It looks like as if it's being pulled as it's going around its orbit. There must be some other object there. That's how they found out that it is a black hole. Now, something interesting about this black hole is it's a stellar mass black hole. And what that just means is it formed through the death of a star. When the star died, it collapsed and formed the black hole. Also, it's pretty similar in mass to a star. It's actually only about four solar masses, meaning if you take four of our suns and combine them, it will be the total of the mass of this black hole. So what I'm wondering is, was this a triple star system? And when it was, because it, well, it likely was, does this mean that one of these other stars are gonna be nearing the end of its life soon and will slowly start to collapse into a black hole and if there's going to be multiple black holes in this system, will they eventually collide with one another, hence creating gravitational waves, which is one of my most uh, favorite subjects to actually read about and to chat with people about because it's a rippling of space time caused by a catastrophic event such as a collision of neutron stars or black holes. I personally just really like the way that this book looks. What's so fascinating about this triple star system or this triple system is the two stars in that triple system together are, are bright enough to see in the night sky with an unaided eye. That's right. 
you don't need a telescope, you don't need binoculars to be able to see it. So a lot of people, news and media outlets are saying you can see a black hole without, you know, a telescope. And although you don't see the black hole, you can see where it's located. And that's because these two stars that are orbiting with the black hole in the triple system coming together because they're so far away, their light is looking like the light is being combined and it appears to be just around a five magnitude brightness. And this is just a bit brighter than Uranus. And Uranus is the dimmest planet that we're able to see. So we actually can't even see Neptune with the unaided eye. But Uranus is um, the last object, the last planet that we can actually see in the night sky without a telescope or binoculars. And Uranus is just around like a, a magnitude of six. So it's just a slightly dimmer. And it's fascinating because you're looking up and if you can see where exactly it is, which for instance, uh, looking at this map right here, it's located just between Telescopium and the constellation known as Scorpius, as well as Ara. And it's, I mean, it's kind of in between like four constellations here. You have Corona Australis, which, you know, we just can't get away from the Corona name. And then Scorpius, Ara, and Telescopium. And HR 6819 is right there in the middle. And so it's so fascinating. It's only a thousand light years away from Earth. And I don't know about you guys, but I think most people, when they think of the closest black hole to Earth, they think, oh, in the Milky Way galaxy must be the center of the Milky Way. Alas, that is incorrect. Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole found at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, is about 27,000 light years away from Earth. So it's actually pretty far. And although it's super massive, it's really, really big, it can fit billions of suns inside of it, it still is a bit too far away to be able to actually see it. And before this discovery was made of it being a thousand light years away, there was another black hole that was about 3,000 light years away that we previously thought would be the one that we could see that was closest to Earth. So I think it's quite fascinating, super exciting because we can look up into the night sky and say, well, there's the, you know, the constellation Telescopium and just north of it is, you know, a triple system. It's two stars and a black hole and they're all circling together in the cosmic sea. And on that note, I thank you all for joining me for this episode of Cafe Astro Athens. Until next time, cheers.